Okay, welcome back to Crawley. Now, all infrastructure projects are controversial, but airport infrastructure expansions and new builds are even more controversial. Gatwick in 2019, that's the last normal year before they locked us all down for some reason, had nearly 50 million passenger travellers in and out of the airport. But there is a big proposed expansion of Gatwick. It would include using the northern runway, which at the moment is just used for taxiing and emergencies. And the plan is, by 2048, 50 million travellers a year would become 80 million travellers a year. That is what is on the decks. And unsurprisingly, communities against Gatwick noise emissions, and Liz Lockwood is a committee member of it, aren't too happy. Liz, is Gatwick livable as it currently is? It's tough, but it's livable, yes. Um, we've, we've had a lot of increase over the last, um, well, before, after 2019, nothing. But before, up to 2019, there's been a steady increase in the amount of uh, air traffic uh, and surface traffic as well on the trains and roads. So we've, we've pretty much reached our limit, I feel. Well, the plan, of course, here is to expand and use the northern runway. It's to upgrade roads, it's to upgrade rail links so that it can cope with this increased volume of people. I mean, isn't the truth of it? If you're worried about the noise from Gatwick Airport, maybe you shouldn't have moved here in the first place. I've lived here for 30 years and I moved here um, knowing full well that yeah. uh, when, when Gatwick had the potential to increase, it might well do that. Um, but it, I think you're slightly mistaken, Nigel, in the terms that you've just said that Gatwick would expand and it would increase the uh, infrastructure to cope with the additional traffic. Uh, in the current proposals for their um, development consent order, there's nothing in there about what they're going to do to increase the capacity of the M23, which, as we all know, is full, or that train line that goes up through the bottleneck up to East Croydon, uh, which we all know is really full, um, and and actually... All right, so let's, yep. say, let's say that the M23 became a Los Angeles-style six lanes each way, and let's say the, the railway line was upgraded. Would you then object to this? Yes, because I think it's our quality of life as well. Um, so it's, it's about a 30-mile radius from the airport where people are impacted by noise and emissions, uh, as well as the surface traffic as well. So um, that's, that's got a big impact on everybody's lives. Yes, no, that's I, 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 yeah. I, I get that, and I, I can see you've got legitimate complaints. But can I ask, I generally find campaign groups like yours have a, have a bigger motive, which actually is to stop us flying as much as we do. Oh, absolutely not. In fact, we have a campaign that is a pledge to fly less. And to fly less? Just fly less, not to stop flying. Why should we fly less? It's, uh, it's, well, it's a combination of reasons. Firstly, that people who are flying now are being done, are flying at taxpayers' expense. They're being subsidised by the fact that uh, aircraft, uh, aircraft businesses don't pay VAT well, just or because, fuel duty. Just because, you don't put, just because you don't put a tax on isn't exactly a tax cut, is it? Uh, mm, but but that's, that's quite a significant amount of the expenditure. Um, the... Uh, oh, and I've lost my thread now. Are you, I mean, basically, the, whenever I've met your campaign groups, you're saying that because of climate change, we must fly less. Is that what your group's saying? Yes, I think that's... All right. That, yep, that's, so, that's, an, that's an honest yep, answer. We yep. got to where I thought we would. And... I understand the genuine sincerity with which you mean it. I would point out to you that aviation contributes about 2% of global carbon dioxide, which I don't think is a very significant amount, but I do get your points about local noise and inconvenience. Yes, and, and to take it a little bit further, that whilst that figure might seem relatively no, low, um, other forms of transport have been improving their sustainable uh, methods uh, faster than aircraft have. Um, so it is getting, uh, we've got electric cars, for example. Electric aeroplanes are really not a thing for... No, I don't switch. think that's happening very quickly. <laughs> I would agree with you so, on that. Well, look, Liz Lockwood, yeah. thank you for coming on and making the argument. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, and, of course, anybody living anywhere in the country that's anywhere near a major airport knows 
about these problems. My grandparents had a house on the A23 in Hawley, just, just down the road. So I saw, as a kid, as Gatwick got busier and busier, there were these inconveniences. <laughs> Henry Smith, MP. Uh, Liz Lockwood does make some valid points about just how busy traffic is, etc. Mind you, that's the same all over the country with an exploding population. Where do you stand, as the local MP, on this? And it is quite a substantial proposed expansion. Well, I think we saw in the COVID pandemic just how vital Gatwick was to the local economy. When people weren't able to fly, the impact on jobs and the broader economy was really quite significant. And as a nationally, we're an island trading nation. Uh, we rely on those international connections. So the idea that we should be flying less, I think, is a non-starter. And Gatwick is very uh, important. What I do think that this country can be in the forefront of, and we're beginning to see this with the um, Jet Zero Council that the government uh, have launched a couple of years ago, is that we can be at the forefront of aviation technology in terms of providing uh, technological solutions uh, to uh, reducing the carbon emissions from aircraft maybe, and be, maybe, and be leaders in uh, sustainable aviation fuels. Maybe. Uh, also, airspace modernisation. I just had a meeting earlier on today with the people who are looking at airspace modernisation using GPS to make sure that we're flying much more efficiently means that we can continue flying, uh, being important for uh, the economy as a trading nation and local communities so strongly like this. this. You're strongly for this expansion. I th don't, I'm not in favour of Gatwick expanding its uh, physical limits, its boundaries, but they do have a proposal to grow their business uh, by using the standby runway for yeah. shorter uh, domestic right. and, and near right. European flights. So I think right. if they can grow their business within their current footprints, uh, then I think that's actually a win-win.